Another game from the Competitive Edition mod tournament. This time will be between Paul and Cruz. Paul being our U.S. Forces player up in north, while Cruz will be our austere player down south. As for commanders, we got Heavy Cavalry Company, Armor Company, and Tactical Support Company. Meanwhile, as Cruz has Mechanized Assault Doctrine, Austroopin Doctrine, and Lightning War. <clears throat> as for builds, we got a Rifleman Squad come out for the Americans, because it's generally what they do. And we have a machine gun also coming out. Sadly, we have not seen the U.S. Mortar get deployed at all, all at any of the games so far, but then again, well... We've only seen the U.S. game at least one. We've only seen one U.S. player, and that was Paul against Talisman. MG42 moving up will begin capturing the point, along with the Pioneers. Grand News will be coming out of the Tier 1. Riflemen are also deploying. We're going to be seeing these rear echelon move up to the north. And we're going to have a bit of a low as everyone just does their own stuff on longer skies, setting up positions, pulling down wire between, behind the heavy cover, capturing points. And MG42 will begin taking the munitions here. First Grenadier squad on the field, second Grenadier squad will be coming up. Well, now our third rifle squad is going to be coming up now as well. Just need a bit more manpower. We're just going to take position behind the haystacks. We'll give them. And some nice defensive bonus, and both sides will see each other. Grenadiers open fire, but they don't hit anyone. And it's really easy to hit people with bolt-action rifles on the move. On your, unless your name is Ober Soldaten. Looks like the rifles will be getting into this building here. Or after they get the VP, they'll probably jump into that building. Both players probably want to start start the caps on the VPs as soon as possible. As longer scout turns to, generally turns into a slugfest as both players wait, wait for the points to slowly tick down. Howard the Grinder's actually gone in the house here, and is going to be controlling the entire right hand side of the map for a few moments unless a mortar gets deployed. And the other house has been taken. Rear actual rifle squad will be moving straight toward the field. MG42 Howard can relocate with the pioneers. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Cruz is not actually going to keep stay in that house. And the rifles are actually going to jump into the building as well. Grinders probably need a retreat from this. Immediate retreat from Cruz, knowing he can't win that fight and doesn't want to be losing that manpower early on. Rifles do manage to get the decap, but they are suppressed now. Pioneers are also here to scout out the area. Are we going to see a sniper con on this map? No, we have a third Grinders squad now arriving. These rifles are actually going to... They barely escaped that 42's arc. Who's looking in a bit of bad position here. He's lost his fuel early on. And we got... That units on the flanks going to be pushing toward him. And we do have a tech up though. Battle phase 1 is underway. It looks like Paul also bought something. Lieutenant tech is also on the way. 42 is firing. Rifles forced back. Grindir's on the cough will defend, however they are in the open, will take significant damage, gonna need some backup. 42 is actually gonna rotate back down. Our supply line's cut. Germans are making a push. 42 is here on the point. I think Joe may be a little bit too far forward, or actually, no, they're just skirting on the edges. We have been granted exit. Our lines of supply are disrupted. Now the 42 decides to fire. Who's fighting back, trying to retake his territory. I wonder if things would have gone much better if he kept that one Grenadier in the house and just stalled out the Americans or forced them to go around. 42 will recapture the cutoff, no? Actually got a sniper now coming up, but we do have the M15 anti-aircraft half-track now coming up. It's going to be a big problem for crews. Doesn't have any AT and won't have some for a while, especially since he's got to build his tier 2, then he's got to build the pack gun. Has he used any munitions? Because the Americans seem to have a lot. Well, Cruz doesn't really have the same... The 
even to have much, and he's had his munitions in pretty much untampered. Actually, no, we got 42s now popping on the Grenadiers. An ambulance is also on the way for the Americans. Going to be see big timing push, and we got a lot of Americans up in the north. Here too, coming down. It's a really passive game, but it is long risk guns. Austria versus USF. Austria generally wants to be defending, or be forced to defend. Gotta be careful though. We got the lieutenant on the flanks. M15 anti-air hat track is also rolling up toward the front. Two riflemen are killed. Sniper is also here. We'll probably start even in the odds shortly. M15 is reversing in the combat, as to be expected. Lieutenant is on the flank here. I'm not sure if Cruz can, Cruz can barely see us. He knows that lieutenant's there and we'll begin sniping. Maybe? Just be careful, teller mine has been planted. M15 is move out, sniper will not be under fire from that thing. And the mines will be detected. Pack gun is now being purchased now. We'll be arriving onto the field. M15 should probably just hold position and start clearing the mines, or let the rear echelon do it. Looks like Paul has locked into the armor coat, armor doctrine. M15 half track. Is open to fire, suppress its Grenadiers. Sniper will begin taking out the rear echelon though. Grenadiers trying to crawl back into the circle, will prevent that decap. Could lose. Who's the rear echelon though? We'll just barely get out of there. Pack gun is coming up to the field though. Could see a rifle grenade go down from these Grenadiers. Cruz needs to be microwing though. Now oh, we do have the lieutenant in the house. Our rifle grenade going off. Paul did not dodge that and take significant damage. Thankfully he did not lose a squad there. Sniper is still slowly picking away the LT in the building. Again, Cruz is being pushed back. Though we have tech options coming for our Americans. Company command post will be coming online. Sniper moving up. We'll get sight of these riflemen. Riflemen will finish the capturing up north. We actually have 2 2 2 now coming onto the field. Not sure what Doctrine Cruz is going to pick. He doesn't have spawning scope, so we won't have the extended sight if he wants it. I'll give him a soft counter to the infantry. Captain is on the field, no bazooka for him just yet. Rifles are eventually going to get shot at that building, especially with the sniper here to support. M15 has been forced away by the pack gun, and 222 will be arriving. I'll need to see a medical bunker go down for Cruz to heal his men. Sniper's not in cover, actually. Our right, rifleman squad's gonna be in a bit of danger here. Immediately forced to pull back. Sniper, I don't think it's gonna land any hits on the retreating squad. Captain squad has taken position into the building. Bazookas are on the way. Our 2-2-2 can keep... And Sniper is exposed here. Immediately forced to pull back. Captain squad has been forced away. Maybe you could send Cruz could send a squad up here to start capping because But we got a lot of riflemen that come out. They got their BARs. Ours weapon racks has been locked and pack out, so he's coming up and start dislodging this defended position. Two 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 
trying to drive and just barely get sight. He's probably going to run this. He'll be able to run this down as well. Is he actually going to trade it, this 222 for the AA half track? He does get it though. Or he's going to lose his 222. Probably worth it. But he will he'll be losing that car. Alright, that, me that means. Ings Cruz will have a lot more room to maneuver now. Especially since his infantry do have their LMGs and can shred the riflemen at range. But he needs to pull these squads out there very low. Good call. We'll pull him back. Where's our sniper? He needs to come back. He's actually sniping units down himself. Takes on rear echelon. And now his vet one. And we got another sniper coming out for Cruz. Even though they are more vulnerable and take longer to shoot now at any distance other than fire. They should be able to help Cruz fight back these American riflemen that his grenadiers are having trouble with. Pack out, sir, is opening up on the building, huh? Grindiers need to pull back. Gonna be a major issue for the U.S. Snipers have always been an issue. I didn't think of a way to possibly fix it, but without adding another sniper. Snipers are more vulnerable to damage, huh? And we're pausing a massive lead at the moment still in terms of resources. Has crews teched up at all? No tech so far. But he now has an infantry force capable of fighting back the Americans. Just needs to be careful of that pack out, sir. As you can see, Sniper's taking significant damage from those BARs. Needs to pull this guy out. Actually, we'll manage to get that squad out. Flamethrower is here. We'll begin burning the LT out of the building. Grenade goes off on the MG42. It is a wipe. Thankfully, he's on Cruz's side of the map, and we'll be able to easily retake that. But needs to be careful, though. Pack Houser is still barraging. Six rounds. Pioneers do manage to get into the building. Grenade going in. Gets on through the other side, though. Rifle's trying to grab it. Needs to finish off this 42. Can't let it get away. May be able to wipe it. Trying to finish it off. Rear echelon are trying to defend. MG is trying to fire. And we'll just barely get it. And we'll begin forcing away these rear echelon. Pack outsider has also been forced. And we actually lose our rear echelon. Not sure why Paul decided to keep those in, in longer than they had to. Our MG42 is in open position. Pile with flamethrower needs to fall. And Pack outsider is firing. And we're probably going to lose our MG once again. And that's going to give Paul a machine gun. Not sure what, not sure what Cruz is going to be able to do. Does it still have double snipers? And the MG hasn't picked up, been picked up just yet. Well, our Stuggy has finally arrived. He's got to be careful, though. Armor Company has been locked in. Needs to pull away these grenadiers. They're very low health. This LT on the pursuit line. And that was a shot if I've ever seen one. <laughs> well, Paul just lost a squad there. That helps. Probably have very low health. And we may lose to Grendhauer in return. And he's just popped an MG42. So he's actually just going to barely get out of there. We're actually seeing a traditional map matchup here. Paul, is Paul actually going to stall for his M10s? Then again, there isn't much AT here for Cruz. He just has this one pack gun. Our captain will be forced away. And we actually lose the captain. Stuggy is in pursuit. And actually gets the captain. Now, Paul's losing everything. Oh, that pack outs are shot. Stuggy is actually blasting through the hedge and murdering things. Our M10s will be on their way shortly. First M10 has been deployed. Rifle grenade takes out, out the unit. And Stuggy is continuing to wipe things. Well, a mass retreat there, Har. BAR is going to force all those units off. M10 moving in on this Stug. 
Could see Major Hour and see him drop artillery. He acts as a sort of non-doctrinal artillery unit for Austere. I mean, the Americans. Aristogi is probably going to go down here. Pack is in position. Will not be able to get it. Loses his Stug as well. Faust going off. Should be able to finish it off easily now. Pack gun will fire. M10 is a busted main gun. He's actually ba is he going to he's actually bailing out the crew. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And where's he even crit repairs it for crews? Oh no. Someone needs to take that out. Go need to do some repairs on this M10 hour. Pack outs there's actually barraging. Go and attempt to take out the M10. It should be one show should be enough to kill it. Not sure if Cruz realized that Paul Crit repaired it for him though. M10 says Sliver of Hell's probably going down. Sniper at Vet 2. The squad of pioneers has arrived. Sniper's decrewed a pack out, sir. Even if I think the US had their own sniper, or this map really favors long range engagements, and that's generally something Austria's always been good at. Which is why you generally don't want to pick maps like Crossing against them. But we need someone to fix this M10. It's just been sitting there. Does Cruz realize that he can get a free M10? S mines have been planted, however, Cruz is actually not looking that good in VPs. 153 to 498. He does have a double pack on the field. And we'll begin repairing this M10 slowly, but surely. I wonder what Cruz is going to save on that. Has he been teching at all? No tech has been purchased. Our sniper is taking significant damage from these BARs and is going to be forced to pull back. A possible change to the snipers I've been thinking of. Oh, we actually lost our piles there. Not good. Piles down. Possible other change to the sniper would be to make them, make them have an ability where they start. They have 35 sight stock, and when they use the ability, they have 45 sight, which is their usual. But they have to be completely stationary to use that ability. And it, that ability forces them to go stationary. Sherman Dozer ready for action, though. Now the M10 is going to counter it. And Paul doesn't actually have any anti-tank to counter said M10. Rifle grenade going off. Typical Langra Sky Slugfest. Why didn't bail out the vehicle crew? Though? They got Thompson's on with them, so that's interesting to see. And Paul has the munitions to do whatever he wants. Is he going to put this crew into it, or is he just doing it so he doesn't, so he can regain his manpower faster? As you can see, he has a lot of manpower income compared to Cruz due to his smaller army. Oh no, this is not good. We're going. Are we going to see another? Thankfully, crew does manage to get in this time. Captured M10, manned by Pioneers, is moving up. Not the most comfortable ride when you have backpacks along with you. 42 has been rebuilt, will help control infantry even more. Not sure what Paul can really do here, but it's going to be a while until crews can start bleeding out. But we got another M10 actually on the field. This will be spotted by the Grenadiers, however. Snipers are actually taking shots at the M10. Faust will hit that M10 as well. Are we going to lose another M10 here? No, M10 misses. M Snipers are actually focusing on the M10. Dozer is here, however. Captured M10 doing some good work. Smoke has been popped, however. Snipers going to be forced to pull back. We're going to possibly lose a Gren squad here. 
And one of our snipers immediately goes down. Not sure why he kept it up there. You can't do that, especially against that many bars. And 240 is being dropped. He's going to see the capture. And takes out that M10 with his. Is this M10 actually going to take out the dozer as well? Well, we lost an anti-tank gun. I'm not sure what Cruz is doing. Maybe a bit of Miss Micro there. Stolen M10 doing work has killed two of the American vehicles so far. More of a threat to the U.S. than it was more a threat to the Germans, apparently. Are both pack guns and being decrewed? Cruz is going to need to recruit those. He needs to be careful. 240 still dropping. If that fell on the sniper. If only that fell on the sniper. RNG bombs are still incoming. Okay, nobody's died from RNG bombs, I think. Our sniper has been forced back. Another 42 is actually being built. Is Cruz going to be saving up for Tiger? Looks like he is. Just needs manpower. Or, and f a bit more fuel. Grandiers need to get out there in the open. Our M10 crush train. Grandiers up here are being engaged by vehicle crews with Thompsons and BAR riflemen will be forced to pull back. Paul's not looking that grand well. He's been bleeding lots of manpower, not only fighting the sniper, but he lost his dozer and his other M10. And he's nothing to fight said M10. Except maybe this captain who's getting bazookas now. He gets a slight discount in his bazookas. Gets 80 versus the 100 you normally pay from the weapon rack. And light artillery barrage is actually going off. Oh, this could be really bad if it... Oh, that wasn't that bad. M10 could do a little bit more repairs, no? Are we going to see the dreaded triple cap on Long Risk? Uh, not something you see every day. But M10 is moving up. Oh, he's going to snipe the ambulance. Ambulance is down. This, this M10 is already almost at Vet 2. Simply because it's been killing American vehicles. Not sure why he bailed out that tank. That was a major or mistake by Pons, really costing him, because this M10 has just destroyed so much of Paul's armor. How are we going to see a Grand Squad possibly? No, they won't go down, but they will fall back, and Sniper's going to be forced to backpedal as the rifles are moving up from the north. Not sure why we're not seeing smoke or anything. Rifle Grand going into the house. A bit delayed. Won't collapse anything. Sniper's exposed, however. He's taking significant damage. We're going to see our next sniper go down. I'm not sure why Cruz was trying... Maybe he's going for the incendiary. However, their change in incendiary is... It takes longer to aim like regular sniper shots. And we're going to lose a 42 here. But he won't be able to recruit it. LT's at way too low health. Still, Paul's being backed into a corner. Going to keep trying fighting out, but... Seems really bad at the moment for him. I wonder if we're going to see flank speed and just see an M10... No, no, wait. That's only a bit too... Never mind. Oh. Grandier's getting torn up. MG42 has been recruited. Thompson's are on the flank car. Tiger is now here. We may lose this 42 here. It's going to go down. Does go down. Pack guns could be next. M10's going to attempt to defend. But no crushes. Oh, there. There we go. One guy got sucked under the treads. Go and see the Americans try to push out their base again, but Tiger Tank is here. Another M10 has been called in. Oh, this M10 is going to be forced to pull back. We're going to lose it here. Our hero, German M10, has finally gone down. Our Tiger is on the field to replace it. 
Cruise actually has a double cap going. And point has been neutraled. M10's going to be in a really major disadvantage of trying to fight this Tiger. And we don't have any anti-tank guns. Anti-tank guns for the US have been buffed with more penetration, better accuracy. And the crew's not as vulnerable anymore. Captain going to do what he can. Light artillery is being fired, however. Well, that tiger shot missed. That could have been deadly. Are all these infantry are bunched up? One guy does go down. Tiger is still moving forward. Our well, look at Paul's manpower income. It's just been going down, 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 and down. I'm really not sure what Paul will do. I may speed this up depending. But we do have a double cap going currently. And we have Stuggy now purchased. No tech for crews at all. Of course the Doctrine does allow him to play like that. <clears throat> M10 has been repaired and is going back onto the field though. Bounces off higher. He's gonna need a heavier tank destroyer than that. Bad things are going to happen to this MG42 crew. That uh, captain is in Zori Vet 3, though. Bazooka's doing work. Random note! Ca the captain actually gets a reload decrease with veterancy. But never mind, he's dead. Our tiger is at less than quarter health. Or around quarter health. Gonna need some repairs there. Got some American troops around the map. Trying to cap. Paul's been double capped. Points continue to tick down, or he's gonna reclaim the right hand VP with his lieutenant squad. Pioneers ready for assignment. Alright, I think I'm gonna speed this up a little. Oh, as much as people what people might say. Our foes have the enemy is attacking. I'm gonna push here. Put it four times, you want Pack gun will get decrewed, but our lines of supply are disrupted. Tiger getting repaired in center. Alright, Stuggy actually we gotta slow this down. Is Cruz actually gonna lose his tiger here? One M10 goes down, that's the vet 2 1. Mona I speed it up, something happens. Our tiger does go down. Of course, Cruz does still have the infantry advantage, I'd say. He has his very grenadiers and support weapons. Faust gonna go off. It bugged there. I wonder if Cruz is gonna, has teched up at all ever since then. No, he's been more grenadiers. No, not sure why he never decided to rebuild a sniper. Incendiary is being... No, that's not incendiary. It's just reloading. 42 is going to take a rifle grenade. Our, this 42 is also going to take a rifle grenade. But they are suppressed. And they are in the open. Overlapping MGs. Random note that if you are suppressed, your grenade range is reduced by 33%. Yeah, you know, we got the cap going on. 231 points for... There's the 136. Rear echelon being built. M10 crushing some S mines. How are the packs are rotating in? Sets them on hold fire, at least one of them. I'm not sure what Paul's gonna do. He's gonna start giving his rear ash on the grease guns. We are losing a sector. Do you see Faust go off? Possibly, actually, no, it won't go off, but Lieutenant's gonna be moving on to that point to capture. Our opponents are seizing a sector. 
Can see a fa probably favorable engagement for Paul here. MG42 is setting up. All right, Grenadiers will be firing on the Rifleman squad at three. Our Rifleman are also at three. Somewhat counteract that defensive bonuses. M10s are still roaming around the map. Before two jumping into the house here. We're actually going to attempt to get captured at a point. Going to get shredded by this MG, Grendel. He's losing their health. Just watch it drop. M10 going to attempt to bowl down the corners of the building. Looks like he won't be able to. Light artillery barrage being called down, likely on that 42. Point will be captured, we'll be speeding this up once again. Actually, no, may have a major engagement here, depending. M10's also here, may see another M10 come out. No, Paul can't afford it, because he needs to fly, buy that ambulance they lost a while ago. Mass of Grandiers here firing on these riflemen. They're just running toward them. May see grenade. The old grenade's gonna go off. Cruz is not micro and he's gonna lose a vet three grenadier. Not sure what he was doing there. His micro must have been elsewhere. Is Paul actually gonna come back into this game? We lost both vet three grenadier squads. And now is Stug E's being called in out of all things? Stuggy needs to move up over the hill. Needs someone to start capturing the VP. Cruz still has the lead. Our points are gonna tick slowly on this map. Gonna need some more infantry coming out for Cruz or something. Double N10s are still available. You can buy another M10. Can buy another M10 after that as well. M10's going to attempt to bowl down the building, take out the walls. 42 should probably bail out. Cruz, pay attention. You need to get that MG out of the building. Stuggy's guarding the center point tower. And wipes out that rear echelon squad. Way too bunched up in that cover. 42 will bail out and start moving toward that VP. And the triple, pa the triple cap's going to put some major pressure on Paul. Actually, you calling a Sherman Dozer. Must realize there's not much in terms of vehicles. Should be able to get the D cap at least. You need to see the pack guns get out here. Forty-two is here. We'll suppress the other forty-two. Packs will open fire. MG forty-two has been forced away from the center. This point has been recapped. We're at one seventy-three at versus one thirty. Cruz has more infantry, but he's lost pretty much all his vet. Palm has pretty much all his squads at vet 3. I think matter, maybe rather than building these stuggies, he should have teched up at some point. And that grenade was well thrown oh, way too far. Our dozer does cause some friendly fire. Three kills and one unfriendly. More rear echelon being called up, likely for those sweepers. Sniper finally being rebuilt. Those are now moving up. Huh? Riflemen are suppressed here, being forced to crawl back. Surprisingly, this, this squad doesn't have BARs at all.
Won't be able to get that rifle grenade off. He's now suppressed. 42 is set up. Stoogie could probably just fire on, around that building and take down the entire structure. Before Pioneer gets taken out by the 105 minute round. More vehicle crews with Thompsons. Vehicle crew will be forced away out. And unit in the center will be attacked by the Stoogie and the MG42. Packs need to start opening up though. Before 42 is firing incendiary to the boom, but it will probably be forced to pull back. It is in the open. Our, is, our dozer actually goes down. Not sure why he sent it around the middle. However, the Vet 3 riflemen will be able to maraud through this line. Grenier is not going to be able to do much about this. Stogiar has something to say about that. Needs to be careful, grenades and squads are bunching up heavily. Our grenade will not be thrown, thankfully. Alright, now the cap's on cruise. Now he's slowly aiming on points. You know, there are times I wonder if pick, putting longer sky in the map pool is, was a good idea. Probably not a good idea. MG42 will be moving out, along with the rest of this infantry. Was the sniper cancelled? Oh, Cruz is actually, he cancelled the sniper. I think he's saving up for his tiger. He just needs a bit more fuel. Once again, Paul's going to need double M10s and pull that miracle that we fast forward through partially. M10's actually going to go into the base. Take out a few, few of those bunkers. Dude, this one's been loaded with rear action. I just think he wants them to vet up quickly. They can't fight, so let him drive a tank. Our right, Stoogie will once again clear out the infantry. One pack shot will hit that M10. Alright, this is a vet 3 MG42 on the side of the Allies. Should probably pull back though, Stuggy can knock it out. Oh, this could be dangerous. Rifle grenade and S mines. Well, never mind. Those mines actually didn't detonate, but the Tiger is here once again. And MG42 has been wiped out. Cruz needs to get back on the points. 100 versus 160. Our Tiger can pretty much just run through this infantry, not care, but double M10s are here. Pack guns are in position, our. Or should be in position. Crew set this to hold. Uh, prioritize on vehicles. We're going to lose this M10 most likely. Actually, no, it's fast enough to bypass. Need to see a Faust or something. The Tiger needs to face properly. The tiger's going to be forced to pull back. Needs repairs. Along with these other units. These MG42 should probably move out and spread out. Not sure what the Stug's trying to do. What are you doing, Cruz? We should probably get back on this point. He needs to end this game. M10 will miss that Stuggy. And Pax will set up. Target weak point, actually, from the Stuggy. I don't think he's actually going to finish off that M10. Howard, the double MG42 causes pin on pretty much everyone in the center. Did we lose something? Oh, that was the other pack gun. Stuggy is going to dive the base once again. Cruz is trying to end this game by killing all Paul's infantry. And it would be really major loss if, if Paul loses any of his vetted squads. Alright, M10 is here. Stuggy is stuck. Phasing out, actually. Are we going to lose? Stuggy is taken out. 
Cruise, don't throw this away. You need to repair this tiger. Still has to contend with the double N10. More Grins are actually being brought back in the field, but then again, Cruz has actually lost all his Grenadiers down to, on the one squad. Wrong on his MG42s to hold the center. Still feel like teching at one point would have been better. Especially when he had that massive lead. Our packs will be refacing in to protect the flank of the Tiger as it repairs. Actually, first shot will miss. Are we going to lose the Tiger here? Back guns need to reface. Our rear Tiger is exposed and he's probably going to lose it. That's another Tiger down for Cruz and he's got to still contend with double M10s and now the infantry is pushing up. Our MG42s have refaced and are now suppressing the infantry. Grenade going off. Vet 2 pack takes significant damage, but will not be taken out just yet. Grenade going off on the edge of MG42. Not sure if it'll wipe it. Looks like it'll barely get out of there. Flamethrower squad is moving up to try and retake the center. Flamethrower causing significant damage. However, these piles are going to take significant damage from that MG42. And those BARs. May get wiped on retreat. We'll barely get out of there. It looks like Paul's army's been slowly rebuilding. His M10s are now back in the action. Not sure what Cruz can do. He's tossed away his Tiger. A triple pack gun. But he, he does have a vet 2 pack. If he can get vet 3, he's going to just demolish the American armor. And both 42s are setting up. Now uh, we have units coming on Frank on the flanks. We have grease guns going to be coming up on the rear echelon. MG42 set resetting up. The squad's trying to get its Thompsons. While spending all his excess munitions. M24 dropped. Well, Model 24. Pioneer is trying to capture on the flanks. Americans not having that. Both sides bleeding manpower. MG bunkers are under siege. We're going to lose one. Actually, all his M10s have been recruited by rear echelon. Do you really want those Thompsons? When we're going to lose the flame pile in the air, it's up north. Cruz can't afford to really lose much else. He's lost a lot of his vet already. We got MG42 facing down MG42. We're gonna have our third MG42. We're really gonna have a lot of overlapping MGs. Do we have an MG42 guarding? Refacing here. Our front is exposed. And these riflemen will be suppressing center. We do, we'll have a flank here, a lot of SMG units though. Smoke is dropped. Gonna need this 42 to set up now. Oh no, Cruz is not microing. Hopefully his gun can actually fire. So he'll barely get that suppression off. Our main lose to Grenadiers due to Thompson Thompson vehicle cruise. Then again, he's right in front of Cruz's base. I actually lose that vehicle crew. 
stuff is dying left and right in terms of infantry. No one really can save up any manpower. They're just trying to get these points and end a staying game. Langraskaya. Hello, people. M10 and did manage to capture with, with its rear echelon crew. And Cruz has now been triple capped, so he's going to start losing points quickly. He needs to get someone on that point. Hold on. Alright, now we're back. 342 will be firing into the center. S mines are being rebuilt, but the M10s are still here to crush. May see a Sherman Dozer come up to replace. Rare Shrine actually going to get on the flank with their grease guns. MG42 in center has been suppressed, and the MG42 here, well, has been knocked out. Not sure if we really want to charge these pioneers at this 42. Our 42 here is controlling this area. Stugi has been deployed. Not sure if it's a good idea. Now we have three armored vehicles. Oops. MG42 has been decrewed in the center hour. Are we going to have to dive into the base? Pax Wills will only begin the fire. Smoke being dropped by the dozer. Stuggy is also here, might get a wipe. Pax getting some nice shots on the dozer. Could see a vet 3 pack soon. Stuggy is once again caught out of position, probably going to lose this. Once again, the Stuggy has been knocked out. Could lose the piles here to crush. He doesn't have much infantry. He has a lot of MG42s, but he has only two grenadiers. G42 has now his line of sight. These riflemen and will suppress all these squads. Still has enough room to fire at the other squad. Actually, no, he's going to be backpedaling. Both sides trying to hold whatever territory they can. Our MG42 gets gunner shot off. Gonna be focused by a Grenadier Vet 3 and another 42. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. And that will be decrewed. However, we have a flanking attack. However, we have Vet 3 MG42 here guarding. Our opponents are seizing a sector. Light artillery is being dropped somewhere. Gonna stop the cap at least. We are losing a sector. We have more pack guns. This pack gun needs to get recruit. Well, I meant eh, needs to reinforce. The enemy has driven a wedge in our Shouldn't be running into these guys, no. Gonna lose a Grenz if he doesn't pull it back. Our 240 is actually being dropped. This could be either game ending. Pack guns need to get out of there. Enemy forces are securing our territory. It looks like it will take out one of the pack guns. The Vet 3 pack guns confused on what it needs to do. Hopefully it survives because now it's Cruz's only anti tank source. And the dozer is back for more. Our M10s are on the flank. Needs to reinforce. And M10s actually take out the pack gun. 
It looks like Cruz is actually going to bleed out in points. 27 to 95. He's been triple capped. Cruz is losing everything. And then Cruz will actually call the game. Major back in, in fourth turn. Cruz looked like he had a major advantage until he lost that Tiger. And then he lost his second Tiger. Surprised Paul could actually pull back given he lost so much at his base. But anyways, we'll be moving on to game two. Or possibly game two. But anyways, Rajfla is signing off.